Hello, everyone. GM, GM. Welcome to the Changelog this week. How you doing, Jacob? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm super excited for the Solana speed run. Got a game jam going on, sponsored by uh, Magic Block, put on by Magic Block. Real excited to see all the ecosystem converging on another hackathon. We do love our hackathons here, but game focused. Yeah, so this hackathon should be out the the day that this video goes live. Um, so if you mm-hmm. if you see this, um, go participate in the Solana speed run. Go build a game. Talk about the game as you build it. Uh, we really like to see the previous speed run hackathon, uh, where a lot of people built a bunch of really cool on chain games. Uh, and also check out uh, all of Jonas's content on the game game building that he does today. Yeah, and that actually perfectly segues into the resource of the week. Jonas, a uh, fellow DevRel member at Foundation, he put out a video on how to create a game in 10 minutes. It uses this awesome little tool that we call Create Solana Game. So directly within your terminal or your, your command prompts, you can run NPX Create Solana Game, and it will just generate a template, a scaffold for your game. So it's, it's super cool. Yeah, so if you are participating in the, the game jam, you can use this, get started very quickly, and actually focus on the building logic of your game versus like how do I even get started. Commits this week, uh, there are a couple commits that we've seen on the transaction scheduler. Um, so if for those that don't know, the transaction scheduler, as it sounds, helps you schedule the transactions to be executed on the network. Every validator has this transaction scheduler, uh, and it basically is helping to get you to like local fee markets, figure out priority fees are correctly put in in front of each other. Uh, the transaction scheduler commits that we've seen this week are some scheduled filters. Uh, so the two commits both kind of go into the filter. So basically, if you receive transactions that are expiring close to your uh, your leader slot. You can kind of like tell when the transactions are are going to based off the transaction age and whether or not they're already processed. So if they are, just filter them out because they're they're not going to be used anymore. Uh, it can kind of lessen the load on the validators and help the scheduler perform better, especially under con- network congestion uh, time periods. Yeah, absolutely. Little improvements go a long way when they they all add up. Uh, Speaking of other improvements, there was also a commit for the Ledger tool. There was an update to the Ledger tool, which is one of the CLI tools that are in the the Solana tool suite. And you can actually use this to query some of the big table entries. Um, So you just run this command. You can see it here on the screen. And you can actually get some of that information at at a big table. And then my personal favorite commit, it's anchor related, and it's on the Solana Mana repo. The John Chinkwe, the the man behind the SPL programs, effectively, he added back in a test to actually check the uh, anchor to make sure that anchor builds within the Solana Mono repo, so that every commit to the Mono repo itself is actually going to run a test and build with anchor to verify that anchor still fully builds and is still fully compatible. And then, should there be any issues, like all the engineers can can dive in and, and figure out what those issues are, what those incompat- incompatibilities are, but it's just another great thing that's going to make it so future downstream changes for the Solana runtime and programming environment and everything and Anchor, they can kind of stay a little bit more in sync and have less uh, breaking issues in the future. Yes, if for those developers that were building between the 1.14 and 1.16 uh, release changes, you would have run into a lot of issues with Anchor oh, and yeah. the yeah, <laughs> and the Solana CLI compatibility. Uh, the 1.16 and 1.17 shouldn't have any issues. We've uh, dev- developer relations here at Solana Foundation has been running their own CI to see if there mm. are issues. Uh, so we know there are not any issues today, but this will have, as Nick said, no future issues. Um, so anyways, that is all we have this week for the change log. Thank you all for joining us uh, about, to talk about what the changes are on Solana each by week. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>